and gentlemen, the hits keep on coming. Our next guest has been making us laugh for nearly two decades on shows like The Tonight Show, Chelsea Lately, Celebrity Big Brother, and RuPaul's Drag Race. He's wow. interviewed every A-lister in Hollywood, and up until now, he's kept tight-lipped on some of the juiciest celeb gossip out there. In his new book, Name Drop, the really good celebrity stories I usually only tell at happy hour, he's spilling all the tea and leaving no prisoners behind. Please welcome back our hilarious and good friend, Ross Matthews. <laughs> Having you here. Thank it's a dream. you it's a dream. so much. So before we get into everything, why are you in town right now, Ross Matthews? Well, I am in Toronto because tonight I'm performing live at Danforth Hall. Uh, I do stand up. I do name drop the game show. I got in the audience. You can ask me anything. I just think I'm going on tour, 30 cities across the U.S. and Canada. There's so much going on in the world. I, just come hang with me. Shut the yes. door on the outside world. Yeah. Let's LOL for an hour and yeah. a half. Yes. 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 So, Tickets at hello, HelloRoss.com for tonight, or just come, come to the theater, there's tickets. Come hang with me, I'll see you. Okay, amazing. Okay, so I first fell in love with you, intern on The Tonight Show. Can you believe that? I cannot believe it, I cannot believe it, but you still, I mean, your career has been so incredible to watch uh, and to love. Thank but you. now you've written a book, I know it's your second, and I'm wondering why you wrote a book that spilled so much tea now, when you've got yeah. so much going on, as opposed to like waiting when you're retired and then you can, you know, really talk about everybody and they don't care. Well, because, <laughs> because specifically that, there is so much to tell, it wouldn't fit all in one book. <laughs> right. So this is like name drop one. You understand? Oh I really, really looked at my career, almost 20 years on TV. I started on The Tonight wow. Show with Leno in 2001. Mm. And I, I, I had written this book that was a bestseller, no big deal, but it was. <laughs> Man up. And so then they were trying to get me to write a second book, and I was like, well, I kind of already told them. I told my story. And then I was naked. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. Girl, get a life. This <laughs> Girl, turned on. No. I was in the shower. I was loofahing. <laughs> And it hit me. I said, you should tell the stories you tell your friends at happy hour. And I thought, well, that's so name droppy. And then I was like, OK, I get it. Name dropping is tacky. My best friend, Gwyneth Paltrow, taught me that. It's OK. <laughs> I can do it. And I just thought, I, I never mean these stories. I say there's no celebrity was harmed in the making of this book. <laughs> but I do tell the stories what happened. I'm a super fan of pop culture who yeah. won yeah. the golden ticket, right? I get to go back there and see them. And I feel like I'm representing all of us. Oh, oh. I love that. Right, so this is what happened. I have an obligation to yes. share these stories. Yes, you do. Yeah. Okay, we, we, to we want to start with, I love the fact that every chapter you begin with a, a cocktail. And yes. you recommend that we drink while we read. Yeah, it's because, already amazing. Because okay? it is all about the stories I tell at Happy Hour. So I make cocktails and recipes. Ah. <laughs> so, so like for this, for example, this I is, have a cocktail here for you now. This oh is um, about my time with Barbara Walters and it's called Whiskey Sour Grapes. Here we go. Do tell, do tell, yes. do, do tell. tell. Don't mind if we do. Do tell, cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, cheers. let's drop a name. Okay. Yeah. Barbara Walters. Okay, ready? <laughs> so I love Barbara Walters. I did a paper on her in college. I love, she's oh a Oh my God, this is real, real. Oh, oh yeah, well, by the way. <laughs> Is there any mix in here at all? Wow. <laughs> you think I'm serving you something that's not going to get you buzzed? You don't know Ross Matthews. Ooh. So I love Barbara Walters, and I she, and they asked me to come back on the view or come on the view. This is like 2004, yeah. and I go on, and she's so wonderful. She was just so. She, I, I hit it out of the park, and she loved me. And as they went to commercial, she says, "Ross is so funny. We should have him back to co-host one day." You almost passed yeah, out. I mean, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, they book me a month later, and I'm on cloud nine. I live in a world now where Barbara Walters loves me. I, I we're, we're colleagues, basically. Yeah. She adores me. And I come back a month later, and the Tonight Show crew comes back with me. To, yeah? Yeah. And we're filming it. I'm so excited. And then we go into the makeup room. No cameras allowed. We go in there, and I'm getting my makeup, and Barbara sits next to me, and I'm like, <laughs> I, and she's like not acknowledging me. And I say, they, they talking about the segments they want to do. And I said, oh, I have an idea on that. And Barbara looks at me through the mirror, and she goes, who is he and why is he here? <laughs> Let me tell you something about Barbara Walters. She was like 76 at the time, top of her game, the best in the business, the best ever. She was running that show like a finely tuned machine, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. 
just wasn't her best day. <laughs> I thought she was kidding. The whole room fell silent, and I said, I'm here to co-host the yeah! <laughs> tell me who he is so I can talk about him on television. <laughs> oh. And I, you, you've met me. I don't hold it back. No, so it just yeah. came out of me. I go, why are you being so mean to me? <laughs> and she finally took her eyes out of the mirror and looked me in the eye and said, because I have no idea who you are or why you are here. <laughs> wow. So then I'm like, uh. And as they're counting us down like 10, 9, 8, this is all true. And I'll tell you how I know it's true, because we filmed it and aired it on The Tonight Show. Oh. I looked at her, I tried to get her on my side, and I said, you know, I'm a 25-year-old kid. I go, Barbara, is there any advice you could give me before we're out there live? She says, I'd like to tell you to go out there and be yourself, but I hope you won't. Oh. <laughs> okay, can I jump in right now? Take a big, long sip of that. I know, I need a sip. We all need a sip. Go. But I want to cut fast forward, because several years later, it turns out you were going to be well, the first male co-host, permanent male co-host of The View. So what did happened? Did you know that? No. no. Yeah, that's why I wrote the book, yeah, okay. right? <laughs> yeah. So they brought me back to The View, okay? <laughs> okay Poor dear. Put this down. <laughs> go on, go on. So they did bring me back. They said, will you come back to The View? I was like, are you sure? Because I think Barbara and I are having a feud, right? <laughs> and I walked in and I saw Barbara, this is like 10 years later, and I finally see her face to face. And I'm like, what, how's this gonna go down, you know? And she goes, hello, nice to meet you, Barbara Walters. And I realized then in that moment that when she had been mean to me all those years ago, she didn't mean it. It wasn't about me. It was just a hard Wednesday. She was Barbara Walters. Who was I? She was just trying to get through it. And I forgave her right away then. Yeah. And I started co-hosting a lot on The View. And I thought it was just kind of for fun. They were looking for a co-host, but not me. I, I may sound like one of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a show yeah. uh, and it's for women. And so I was like, what? And then uh, the makeup artist said, I hope they hire you. And I was like, excuse me? She's, I, I heard them talking about it. They should hire you. And then they came into my room, the producers, and they said, Ross, we picked you. We're really going to shake it up. Uh, Jenny, Whoopi, Sherry, and I, and Bill Getty, the, the EP, executive producer, we're going to meet with the network today, get ready to move to New York. Oh, my God. So I get on, I had to fly back to the West Coast. I'm on the plane. And what do you do when you're rich? I'm not, but I thought I was going to be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You spend. You spend money. You spend. You so I splurged on Wi-Fi, yeah. right, on the thing. Yeah. I got $22. I can do it. Yeah. The, the first thing I do, I see you go to TMZ, because I'm a human being. So I yeah. turn up, right? <laughs> And the first thing, 30,000 feet in the sky, it says, headline, firing massacre at The View. <laughs> Sherry fired, Jenny fired, Bill Getty fired. All the people yeah. who just told me <laughs> that I was hired for The View were now out on their ass. <laughs> like, so you're done. You're done. I find out 30,000 feet in the air that my dream, the North it's Star. Crashed. It's crashed. Uh, but you, listen, you have had so many. It was gone. You understand? <laughs> it's gone. Gone. But you have had so many incredible celebrity interviews, but your worst, you say, was Elizabeth Taylor. Yeah, Why? by far the worst. Quickly. I was. I mean, Elizabeth Taylor, quickly, I'll tell you, I, I should never have met Elizabeth Taylor. I shouldn't live <laughs> in a world where that happened. And I was informed that I would not. It was at this charity event. She was there. Uh, they, I said, I don't think I should interview her. And they said, you will not be interviewing her. And then 30 seconds before it happened, they said, Ross, change of plans. You're going to interview Elizabeth Taylor. I was like, what, 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 what? <laughs> Uh, they said, call her Dame Elizabeth. And I, in my head, I go, oh, like Dame Edna. Oh, yeah. oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So oh, no. then, I, and listen, we've all had bad days at work. This was my work. Yeah, yeah. So I walk into the trailer, her trailer, and her dog is barking, and she's sitting there, jewel-encrusted, and she had lipstick on her teeth, and I got all confused, oh. and I go, Dame Edna! When are you in town next? Yes. Because we, need, we need a new <laughs> book and we back. need you back here. These are just a small part of these stories. I do have to just say, I love this book. It is for super fans. If you love pop culture, these are just the tip of the iceberg, these stories. Go to helloross.com, get the book. And if you're in Toronto tonight, come out and see come me. Come and see Stand for the Hill. Okay? And thank you. We love you. We love you. Okay, let's tell everybody.
Yes. And show everybody. Uh, the book is called Name Drop. There it and is. And you, our studio audience, you get your copy today! Oh!